five encouraging verses. Welcome to Bible on the Go with Dr. Dan. You know, the Bible has 31,000 plus verses in it, and there are hundreds of them that are, that are very encouraging, whole books of the Bible that are encouraging. But I started making a list a few months ago, and what I found was these were some really encouraging verses, and I thought it'd be fun to share them. So here they are. They're all in the New Testament, and the first one is in 1 John 1, 2. This one might surprise you. That life was revealed, and we have seen it, and we testify and declare to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was revealed to us. What's so powerful about this, of course, is that John is writing as an eyewitness that actually saw Jesus die and rise again. He actually heard all the things that Jesus had taught. And so the testimony of the apostles is a very powerful, encouraging word when we find it written in the text of Scripture. Well, one chapter later is another one, and it's almost hidden. My little children, I'm writing to you these things so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the Righteous One. Oh man, that one is powerful. Just in case you do sin, right? You can preach about that all day long. Well, there's this other verse that's in Romans chapter 3. But it's not Romans 3.23 because that one's kind of negative. You know, all of sin falls short of the glory of God. Oh! And sometimes it's quoted by itself, right? But the verse that comes right after it is glorious, and here it is. They are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. What a blessing that is, especially following that Romans 3.23. Well, you know, the book of Romans is really the grand treatise that the Apostle Paul made under the inspiration of the Spirit. For seven chapters, um, Paul lays out in a very grand way what the problem is with false teachers and how all the world is guilty for, before God. And, and, he ju and chapter 5, verse 1 is a really powerful one that's not on this list. But anyway, I'm digressing. In chapter 7, he deals with the hard-hitting issue of sin and how complicated it is. And to one point in chapter 7 where he says, Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death, right? Well, the very next chapter, of course, is very popular among believers. And I just had to read it to you because it's so glorious. In chapter 8, verses 1 and 2, Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus, because the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. Oh, that's glorious and grand. And he just really starts to, um, well, he just continues to preach himself happy, quite happy, till he gets to the more than conquerors section in chapter 8, which is just amazing good. Well, there's another set of verses in the book of Titus that really you might want to memorize because it so encapsulates all these ideas and it's very quotable. Beginning in chapter Titus chapter 3, verse 5, he saved us, not by works of righteousness that we had done, but according to his mercy, through the washing of regeneration and renewal by the Holy Spirit on us abundantly, through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that, having been justified by his grace, we may become heirs with the hope of eternal life. Wow. Five encouraging verses. Do you have some encouraging verses you'd like to mention? Comment below, and we can enjoy the Word of God together. Thanks for watching Bible on the Go with Dr. Dan. If you like these videos, the best thing you can do is hit that button called subscribe. It doesn't cost a thing, and you only have to do it once.
praise God.